Welcome to the Nutley Cisco Academy. Today we will be discussing OSPF. So OSPF means uh, open shortest path first. Um, OSPS is a linked state routing pro protocol and it was developed as a improved version of router RIP. Um, what it does is it offers faster convergence convergences and scales to much larger network implementations than router RIP does. Okay, so some applications of OSPF would be if you have a large enterprise and you need to network that um, because it's good for high traffic environments like office buildings and it is also an open in industry standard. However, with its benefits, there are a few disadvantages of OSPF. It requires extra CPU processing to run the SPF algorithm. It consumes more memory than other routing protocols and it, uh, it requires more RAM to store topology. But, and, uh, and also the ease of use is, you know, it's harder to use it because it's more complex uh, when setting it up. So it's harder to tr uh, troubleshoot. So OS OSPF was, um, OSPF messages are used to create and manage three OSPF databases. These databases are, uh, um, what is going on with this? Adjacency database, link state database, and forwarding database. Adjacency database uh, lists all neighbor neighborhood routers to which a router has established a bi bidirectional communication, um, and it can be used uh, and can be viewed using the sh show um, IP OSBF neighborhood command. Link state uh, database it lists information about all the routers in the network. Um, and all routers within an area have identical um, LSBD. And forwarding database lists all routes generated when an algorithm is run on the link state database. All right, so to maintain routing information, uh, OSPF routers complete a generic link state routing process. Uh, the, following, the following are the link state routing steps that are completed by the router. Uh, establish neighbor adjacencies, exchange link state advertisements, build the link state database, execute the SPF algorithm, and uh, that creates the SPF tree, and then choose the best route. Uh, to make OSPF more efficient and stay, uh, scalable, OSPF supports hierarchical routing using areas. An OSPF area is a group of routers that share the same link state information in their LSDBs. OSPF can be implemented in one of two ways as follows. Single area OSPF, all routers are in one area, best practices to use area zero, and multi-area OSPF. OSPF is implemented using multiple areas in a hierarchical fashion. All areas must connect to the backbone area, which is area zero, and routers in interconnecting the areas are referred to as area border routers. <coughs> OSPF v3 is the OSPF v2 equivalent for exchanging IPv6 prefixes. We call on IPv6, the network address is referred to as a prefix and the subnet mask is called the prefix length. Similar to its IPv4 counterpart, OSPF v3 exchanges routing information to populate the IPv6 routing table with remote prefixes. OSPF v2 runs over the IPv4 network layer, communicating with other OSPF IPv4 peers and advertising only IPv4 routes. OSPF v3 has the same functionality as OSPF version 2, but uses IPv6 as network layer transport, communicating with OSPF v3 peers and advertising IPv6 routes. OSPF v3 also uses the SPF algorithm and as a computation engine to determine the best, best path throughout the routing, routing, routing domain. Types of OSPF packets. Link state packets are the tools used by OSPF to help determine the fastest available route for a packet. OSPF uses the following link state packets to establish and maintain neighbor adjacencies and exchange routing updates. Each packet serves a specific purpose in the OSPF routing process as follows. Type 1, the hello packet. This is used to establish and maintain adjacency with other OSPF routers. Type 2, the database description packet or the DBD packet. This contains an abbreviated list of the LSDB of the sending router and is used by receiving routers to check against the local LSDB. The LSDB must be identical on all link state routers within an area to construct an accurate SPF tree. 
type three, link state request packet or an LSR packet. Receiving routers can then request more information about any entry in the DVD by sending an LSR. Type four, link state update, LSU packet. This is used to reply to LSRs and announce new information. LSUs contain several different types of LSAs. Type five, link state, link state acknowledgement packet. When an LSU is received, the router sends an LSA CK to, to confirm receipt of the LSU. The LSA CK data field is empty. Link state updates. They are used to forward information, forward the OSPF information. A type three LSR packet is used by the receiving routers to request more information about the entry in the DVD. The type four LSU packet is used to reply to an LSR packet. And then a type five packet is just like a receipt to acknowledge that the type four received it. Hello packets. They are used to advertise parameters on which two routers must agree to become neighbors and multi-access multi networks do not require hello packets. OSPF operational states. The first one starts with the down state. No hello packets are received. The router sends hello packets. Then the init state. Hello packets are received from the neighbor. They contain the router ID of the sending router. The two-way state. In, the, in this state, the communication between the two routers is bidirectional. Then in the exchange state, routers exchange DVD packets. In the loading state, LSRs and LSUs are used to gain additional route information. And then in the full state, the link state database of the router is fully synchronized. Establish neighbor adjacencies. When OSPF is enabled on an interface, the router must determine if there is another OSPF neighbor on the link. To accomplish this, the router sends a hello packet that contain, contains its router ID at all OSP, OSPF enabled interfaces. The hello packet is sent to the reserve all OSPF routers IPv4 multicast address 224.0.0.5. Only OSPF V2 routers will process these packets. Syn synchronizing OSPF databases. After the two-way state, routers transition to database synchronization states while the hello packet was used to establish neighborhood adjacencies. The other four type of OSPF packets are used during the process, process of exchanging and synchronizing LSDBSs. These are the three steps as follows. The first is decide first router, the second is exchange D DBDs, and the third is send an LSR. The need, D, the need DR. Multi cases network create two challenges of OSPF regarding the, the following of LSAs as follows creation of, mul of multiple adjacencies. Ethernet networks could potentially in interconnect many OSPFs, routers over a common link. Creating adjacencies with every router is unnecessary and unserviceable. It would lead to an ex excessive number of LSAs exchanged between, number router between routers on the same network. Essential following of LSASs, link state routers flood their LSAs on any type OSPFs is utilized, or when there is a change in the topography. This, this flooding can become excessive. Okay, so LSA flooding with a DR uh, is the process, if you will, that the route, uh, that a network will use to uh, manage the adjacencies. Uh, what it will do is it will have one router send out uh, many packets to uh, LSA packets to the central switch and then it'll distribute it throughout the system. Uh, and then it will say, uh, the other routers will send back packets uh, and it will help smooth the uh, running of the system. This, uh, yeah, so this, this slide covers the same topic, basically. Um, four. These are our questions. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.